this thing's pretty, it's, it's, it's like 25%, maybe halfway full. Whoa. Now and you say they make a queen, how they, do they just make it? They, they'll start creating what's called royal jelly. Sterling is here and he's gonna take some bees out of my backyard. Sometimes you get bees, what are you gonna do? You spray them with stuff, they don't go away. You smoke them with stuff, they don't go away. Then you get this guy, Sterling. He's gonna come hook it up. Here they are. Yeah, they're right here. Can you see right, right there? Whoa! Okay, so there's more chilling down there. The joist beams that are right here, they're over on this one right there. So. You don't have to find the queen. Some, she, sometimes she just gets vacuumed up in the whole mess. <laughs> Clean there. There we go. We we'll just start taking the honeycomb out and piece at a time, gently, gingerly. Then we'll just vacuum the bees off the. Uh, It's amazing how fast they built that honey. They, they build a lot real quickly. Since Saturday. Thursday. Yeah. And it's Thursday. Pull some more out. There, there, there might be eggs. I think I see some eggs. But there's no capped brood. There's no larva. So they're not really protecting anything yet. Mm. So they're still pretty calm, mm -hmm. but don't don't think you could just go up to a hive in the wild and, no. and start banging around on it, thinking you're not going to get <laughs> stung. They'll probably swarm you yeah, and, and attack the crap out of you. Well, white comb so far. I think that that's all the comb, and the rest of the bees are right under here. We'll just get in here. There, we'll put it on in here. Does he have a light on it? Is that? See, can, 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 you, can you see in the camera with the? They're not too aggressive. They're not attacking you, are they? No. Yeah. I, that, that's the thing is, I don't feel like they're aggressive. Yeah, they're they're pretty mellow. We got the smoker and and uh, usually a hive that's just, this is a swarm that just recently flew in here and they're not gonna be that aggressive and you know until they get big until it gets large. Let's see if we put your camera in there. Some lighting in there. calm but I've already I'd already been through the thick of things where I seen the worst of the worst so so now that I use you know I use and and I didn't really use a smoker in the past because it's kind of a fire hazard you know you don't 
Like I, I know I have a, a buddy who he caused a fire and like it didn't it, it didn't get out of control, but it, it started to and he, he like was stomping it out and it caught his suit on fire and he oh, was like no. burning up and like but, a lot more bees just came out. But yeah, the smoke causes them to come out and uh, it causes them to be calmer. It, for, it, it forces them. <laughs> Like it, there was like that fire mm -hmm. a few years ago at the Notre Dame church, wh wherever that was. And the, one of the monks there had a couple beehives up on top of the roof. And the, those two hives made it through the fire. Cause they, they, there was tons of smoke, oh, wow. but the smoke didn't do anything to the bees cause, cause they don't have lungs. So those, as long as the hives didn't catch fire, they were able to, to completely live through all the smoke. There was tons of smoke. <laughs> Yeah, I can't send you it. No problem. Okay, there's wax. a little. There's a little bit of honey. There, it's mostly wax and 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 yeah, they go out and get like material from flowers that, and then they process like they get water and and some other stuff, and they process it through their bodies. They make the wax. There's a little bit of honey. You can see this one. This piece. There's some honey in there, but not very much. Um, that's wild. So so whatever's left over, they might linger for two, three, four days, but they end up just going away. They'll they'll join up with another hive somewhere else, mm -hmm. or or they'll perish. Or and what happens or, to these? Um, these guys in here. What I do is, well, this in, this particular hive, there's not very much honeycomb. This was this was essentially just a brand new swarm. So what I do is, I've got 150 hives on my ranch in Vista. Wow. What I do is I go to one of my big double stacks that's just loaded, that's full of those 20 frames, just completely full. I'll take out a frame of that has brood larva and nectar and pollen on it and shake the bees off, put it into an empty box and with, you know, other with the, either a five frame nuke or a, an actual 10 frame box. I'll take that frame out of a, of a loaded hive, shake all the bees off because you don't want to take, you know, you don't know oh, if the queens. Hives. You, well, you can you can combine and mix hives, no problem. But you shake the bees off because I don't I don't want to take, take the queen, queen out of that hive and put her in with another queen. You you want to shake them all off so you know the queen's not on there. Mm. Then you put that into its own box and then just dump the bees right into the box. Mm. And then they use the frame from another hive as their own. And and these That's bees, so cool. yeah yeah they'll like the they're the bees that hatch from that frame that I put in. They become acclimated with these bees and the, and uh um i have to take a frame out because there's no honey there's no comb here there's there's not there's there's just there's no this is this isn't very much i can't i can't really if if this was a hive that had been here a month or so that had a whole bunch of of comb that had brood and larva and and uh and, and on it then what I do is I take that home, take a serrated knife. Actually, it's better to have a big, huge hive because I get all the honeycomb. I take a serrated knife and, and take an empty frame with no foundation. It's just, just a wooden frame. Cut the comb so it fits in the frame. And then I take rubber bands and rubber band it. And then, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll make like three or four of those. And then, then I'll usually get like two cages full of bees. This is just one cage, probably half full. Um, then I just pour those two cages in with their own honeycomb with the rubber bands and then they attach their comb their own comb to the frames and then in about a week they start detaching the rubber bands and pull them out and start depositing it right out in front of the hive they so just kick it out, they just kick they they, wow. they 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 chew it they chew it apart and then they drag it out so once you so start seeing wow. you know, they're totally smart for just tiny little you know mindless creatures they 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 know what their duty is they know what they have to do to survive and that's all they do it'll look like a lot coming out maybe or maybe not but but don't don't worry I, and and if if they're not gone after you know three four five days and you think they're starting over just all you got to do is just give me a call or a text and i come i, I give you a six month warranty too so just for peace of mind in case maybe I left too much left over whatever and, and someone's get stuck, just call me I'll come back and do a final vacuum if needed if you think so awesome. uh, pretty pretty clear pretty clear in there wow, you see compared to what it was yeah, absolutely here let me yeah here
pretty clear, pretty, pretty cleared out. Don't just, even if they land on you and, and they're that's buzzing you, don't, don't, don't do that. Like, just freak me out. Don't, that, that's totally natural, totally normal yeah. to do that, but that's going to get you stung when you do that. Like yeah. they're, they're not in a, see, see how I'm just chilling here. Yeah, I know, I the know. bees are flying around well, me. I I, I, they're I, I, landing on me. I know what you're you, saying. you just act like they don't, in, in this particular situation, they're not going to sting unless, unless you swat at them and <laughs> like I'll take a sting. Like I'll get maybe stung once in the face or on the arm, but I still just, you just take the pain and don't panic. See, there's like one on my face right here. Or, so you just, if you don't panic, they, they're, you know, people would start, you know, swatting at it and smashing it. So, see right there. You just, you know, they're, they don't really sting you until you start swatting at it. So we'll just. Go out that far two miles? They go, they go as far as six miles. So wow. when a hive gets, sometimes when a hive gets too full, they swarm, they'll, what happens is they'll make another queen so there'll be two queens and then they boot the old queen takes half the hive with her and then the new queen stays with the, with the original hive whoa so see them all in there all here check this out here ready so this, this thing's pretty it's 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 like 25 percent maybe halfway full whoa so yeah there's a oh, lot I'm of bees there's a lot of bees in there so we're just going to set this right here and the these, other ones the, want in. The, yeah, they'll they'll start attaching to the to the cage. That's yours right there. It, it looks like it's totally full, but it's only they're swarmed to the outside. Right? They are swarmed to the outside exactly. So there, this is like it's it's pretty much empty on the inside there. Yeah. But Look at that. it's like half full. So see see them starting to attach to the outside. They're right so there's still like, you know, there's some leftover. Wax and stuff. Wax, yeah. even if you primer over it, they're still, they have such a good sense of smell that, like uh, that, that it'll just like, and then try and build up this gap here because even, you know, or maybe dig down and stuff some insulation in there. But so this many, there's probably what, 30 bees out, 40 bees. Probably well, like 40, 40 or 50. And, you know, and, and, and what's inside there, there's probably like 3,000. We got 3,000 bees that were under that thing. You could only really see 40 or 50 at a time, really, but 3,000 bees under there. You guys can still see like 60 bees flying around here. So this is Sterling. Pull all these bees out, 3,000 in that cage right there. Looks like probably 50 or 60 still hanging around. Not sure what's gonna happen, but he says they're gonna disperse. I trust that word, because he's a bee master. So where can they find you if they got bees in the San Diego You can area? find me on Craigslist Farm and Garden, San Diego and Orange County Inland Empire, and I have a website socal be removal and relocation.com check out the website my cell phone's on there give me a call i do removals all day every day um and i i do live removal every time no killing ever there's no need to kill any bees in any situation ever these are all the bees that were loose that were going to their homies because they're missing the hive and they came in landed on this trap which was inside the vacuum right it was inside the vacuum they know the queen's in there so they want to attach and, and they're going to go home with these they're going to go home with everybody so there's one that has a little primer on it that's kind of funny a couple of them got the primer <laughs> that's oh, why i try not to use the primer so much they drive home with you in the cab they drive inside the cab shut up that is amazing all right here we go Thanks,